are looking at the trophy they are all playing for this season will be awarded to the national champion. 70 pounds. I'm told don't touch it. We're here with Cliff Kingsbury. That's what you guys are going to be playing for this season. When you look back at that first year as a head coach, what do you know now that you didn't know a year ago right now? Yeah, you better be consistent every day. I think you're going to have your ups and downs, but you be better bring the same message, the same energy every day, and, and your team will respond to that. I want to talk to you about a message that your Big 12 commissioner sent when he recently said Bob Bowlesby came out critical of the NCAA and says that cheating pays presently. What's your reaction to that? Yeah, I think, you know, Mr. Bowlesby has, has a point. I think there's certain places that you can get away with it and, and uh, you know, penalties aren't as stout as they probably should. So um, we'll look at it. NCAA will look at it. I'm sure they'll come up with an answer. Uh, the NCAA has certainly has been under scrutiny as of late. You are 34 years old, which makes you the youngest coach at a power conference school. How does that benefit you in relating to your guys and even on the recruiting trail? Yeah, you know, I'm not too far removed from playing and being in their shoes as a recruited student athlete. And I think that helps. And especially coaching a my alma mater, a place that I'm passionate about, um, I think they feel that energy and that passion. You said you're not too far removed from being in their shoes. We want you to take us through this video. This was from, I think, spring practice. And we want you to break this video down if we can take a look at it. What, what's happening here, Cliff? <laughs> yeah, that was our last spring practice, and we felt like we needed a little more energy. So uh, I felt like it wasn't bad. I should have warmed up a little bit beforehand. And could have got a little more depth on that stanky leg. Yeah, did you practice this it, it ahead of time? I had, yeah, I had a few practice sessions, but it, it went, got the job done. <laughs> it got the job done. What was the reaction from the guys on that? Yeah, there were some mixed reviews, but they practiced hard and they had fun. So. What's the biggest adjustment you had to make in your situation as a coach now and as a head coach, and, and what did you learn from it? Yeah, just time management, first and foremost. I still love to be heavily involved in coaching the quarterbacks, game planning, things of that nature. So. You tie that in with all the administrative responsibilities, it makes for some long days. So you got to figure out what's key each and every day, what you can, um, you know, skimp on and, and go from there. And so year two, I feel like I have a better grasp of, of what I want to accomplish and what I need to focus on. The media shows Oklahoma by a wide margin to win the Big 12 this year. 47 first place votes to just nine for Baylor. Now, no, no title game to determine a champion this year in the Big 12. How do Cliff Kingsbury and the other Big 12 coaches feel about that? Yeah, I've heard that. I'm not sure until after this first year. We'll see how it all plays out. But, but we love how it's set up. You play everybody in your conference, and, and that's how you find your true champion. It's a gauntlet. It's a tough deal. You come out of our conference as a conference champion, I mean, I, in my opinion, you deserve to be in the Final Four. Now, if you go undefeated and do it, mm -hmm. You, you, you're one or two. I think just the opposite, to tell you the truth. I think we're the only conference that has one true champion. I mean, I think those other conferences are the ones that should be asking that question because they play the guys in their division and in a part of the other division. So, you know, are they really determining who a true champion is? I think you come out of our league playing all, all opponents, playing nine league games and playing all the opponents, and you end up on top, you'll end up in that final. Guys, he's a good-looking man, all right? So, Mike? Oh, yeah, I'm uncomfortable now. <laughs> Cliff Kingsbury's looks, are they an unfair recruiting advantage? Yeah, they're an unfair <laughs> recruiting advantage. Unfair to the players that he's recruiting. <laughs> Talk about awkward moments. Yeah. I don't want, you know, if I'm a player and you pushing up on my moms, Wait. I'm not going to Texas Tech. Or rather, yeah, it, your mom is pushing up on him. Either that's way, what it either like. way. Well, 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 and right here in studio, Basically a member of the family, right? Yes. Uh, we are joined by Texas Tech head coach Cliff Kingsbury. We dress for the occasion. Yeah, looking forward to this season. What do you feel like are realistic, manageable expectations for you guys? Because you suffered a, a few significant losses. Yeah, we expect to win the Big 12. I and mean, that's, that's how we approach it every year. And we were last in turnovers and last in penalties last year. And if we can cut those numbers in half, we feel like we'll be right there. Uh, you were drafted by the Patriots in what, 03? Yes, ma'am. OK, so that means you and Tom Brady, obviously, on the same team. So did Tom Brady, did he teach you about living this ridiculously good-looking life? I'm just curious. <laughs> he, uh, I just kind of hung out and tried to fall into some leftovers at that, at that point. Because <laughs> you know how it was in Boston with that cat. Yes, yeah, yes. It was a just wanted to be a wingman. Yeah, yeah just be, be in the same club. No yeah, doubt. That was it. No doubt. Yeah. I hope he was good to all his backups, right? <laughs> yeah, it was. He was. Yeah, good, no, it's good to see you, man. Good Proud of you. Yes, thanks for Wait, joining us. my co-host. No, she's, you know, she's <laughs> awesome. <laughs>